Welcome to another episode of Shavor, my review of Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit stars Chris Pine, Kara Knightley, Kevin Costner, and Kenneth Branagh, who is also the director of the film. Now, the premise of the story is about this character named Jack Ryan, played by Chris Pine, who is recruited by the CIA to just basically analyze numbers that come in through different banks. If he finds anything that's fishy, he has to report it to the CIA. And he does that. He ends up discovering something that's going on in Russia. And he reports back to Kevin Costner's character, who is his boss. And that's when the story begins and all kinds of stuff happens. Now, the movie itself isn't based off of a book. But the character of Jack Ryan is actually based off of a book series by Tom Clancy. And this movie basically just takes that character and puts him into this world. I went into this movie for three reasons. One, Chris Pine. Two, Keira Knightley with an American accent. And three, I have to be honest, the trailer did entertain me when I saw it. And I was like, you know what, I haven't seen a movie in January that's actually an official 2014 movie let this one be my first one because I have a gut feeling I may end up enjoying this movie. And to be completely honest, I did enjoy this movie. I ended up really enjoying this movie a lot more than I was expecting, maybe because I've had very low expectations going into this film, that I just ended up really enjoying this movie for what it was. Was it a perfect film? Absolutely not. Will it win any awards? Absolutely not. But was it a fun movie? Yes, it was fun. I had fun with it. I laughed with it. There is certain problems with the movie. I, I will be honest, the story really wasn't that strong. There was a romantic relationship between Kara Knightley's character and Chris Pine's character, which they thought they had a lot of chemistry, but the built-up of the relationship really wasn't that strong. So things that happened in the movie between them really didn't hit hard because there wasn't really much of a development in the relationship and you really didn't see them as much of a couple in a way that you would feel emotionally invested to their whole thing going on between each other. So that was like one of my bigger issues. The other issue I may have that's more of a nitpick is Carol Knightley's American accent. So there's certain scenes like she seemed like she would talk as though, you know, in an American accent she's doing fine and then certain words will kind of like, you know, mesh into her normal speech to how she normally talks and that really took me out of the movie sometimes so that's like my only real complaint as her in the film but overall i really enjoyed her character her and chris pine worked together really well again they had great chemistry and overall again this is a fun movie i believe if you end up seeing this movie you will not hate yourself for seeing it so i'll definitely recommend this movie to anybody who is a fan of any of the actors if you saw the trailer and you actually was entertained by what you saw in the trailer, then go check out this movie. You will most likely not regret it if you do end up going to see it. So that is my review of Jack Ryan's Shadow Recruit. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Her is directed by Spike Jones and it's also written by Spike Jones. It stars Joaquin Phoenix, Rumi Mara, Amy Adams, Scarlett Johansson, and it also has small cameos and roles by Chris Pratt, Olivia Wilde, and Kristen Wiig. And I only mention her because she has the funniest scene in the movie, if not one, one of the funniest the story is basically about Joaquin Phoenix's character Theodore. He just got a divorce or 